All right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Got two squonkers here. Got two squonkers that are pretty popular squonkers. I made some comments about the Revenant uh, TVL Delta being like, oh, the best squonker I've ever used, but I kind of wanted to compare it a little bit to what seems to be a really current popular squonker, which is this guy. This is the top side right here, and we're going to compare both of these together. I'll give you my thoughts on both of them, so let's just... Uh, here we go. So there is actually a lot that these devices have in common. They're both single 21 700 battery mods. The top side does 90 watts and the Delta does 100 watts. They both have a very similar like flip open trap door style, uh, you know, door on the bottom for your battery. Delta opens very much the same way, battery bottle on the inside. And they're honestly both pretty evenly matched as far as size goes, like holding either of these mods they just feel basically like the exact same size they're basically the same height I apologize I mean this is the most unscientific way possible of measuring a mod just kind of squaring them up and going yeah they look pretty similar but they do they honestly look and feel very similar they even have a similar width to them when you look this way they're 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 very similar that is to say that holding both of these devices is just stupidly comfortable. They're both intensely ergonomic devices. Both fire buttons are real nice, super responsive. Both are insanely responsive, but I have to give the top side a little bit more points because the button is overall a, a much clickier experience, and I am a clicky button fanatic, and the top side, it's just got a clickier button, dude. As far as the displays go, the Delta is a little bit bigger of a display. It's a little bit wider, but I actually kind of prefer the top side screen. They're both going to show you all the information that you need to have. There's battery level indicators on both. It shows you what mode you're in, variable wattage. These both just do wattage with the exception of the Omniboard 4 in the Delta also has that Vaporesso Super Player mode included. But for all intents and purposes, purposes. These are both straight wattage devices, which for me, oh, it's perfect. Now they're both going to show you the wattage that you're at. They're both going to show you the resistance that you have. They're both going to show you the volts that you're using. And the reason that I prefer the top side is it's a little bit more simple. I can see my wattage much quicker and I can see my voltage much quicker. And that's important to me. The Omniboard 4.0 doesn't show you your resting voltage. It just shows you your resting wattage. But I like that the top side both shows you your wattage and your voltage right away, just right there, I can see those two bits of information. Up down buttons here on the bottom are going to adjust your wattage up and down. Once again, the top side has much more clicky adjustment buttons, but the, the Delta works just fine. It's just a hair less clicky. The Delta using the Omniboard 4.0 also has a sort of in-depth uh, menu system. You can change the brightness of your display and the colors and you can default it. And you can change it into super player mode and you can set the time and you can kind of do a whole bunch of stuff in there. Whereas the top side, this is it. There's no menu system. You adjust your wattage up and down. You press the fire button. It's much more simple, much more straightforward. And in my opinion, ah, I don't know. I just like it. I like it a little bit more than the Omniboard. So let's talk about juice capacity, yo. I don't know why I said it like that. Now, if we're going to get into juice capacity on these two squonk tanks, it's going to be the top side all day long. Top side is a full 10 mil juice bottle in there. The Delta has a six and a half mil juice bottle. So there's no way around it. Top side just has a much bigger capacity, which means it's going to last you much longer in the juice department. I'm going to remove both of these atomizers because we're not talking about either of these atomizers right now. We are just focusing on these mods. They both have spring-loaded 510s on the top. I have not had any issues putting anything on either of these. They both fit up to a 25 millimeter atomizer. I'm sure you could go bigger than that, but you're going to have some overhang on the sides. Micro USB there, micro USB on the side here. So the last thing I wanted to compare on both of these is the juice filling system because these both have a really unique and interesting way to fill those squonk bottles. Filling squonk bottles has really, really come a long way in the last few years. So I'm going to pop this Delta tank out of here and it's basically empty, but you fill it from the bottom and you can see kind of 
right there. There's like a one-way little, little plunger valve type of thing. And so the idea is you take your bottle and you kind of press it in and you can see it open on the inside. And when you squeeze your bottle, it's just gonna fill your tank with juice. And then when you let go, it's gonna reclose that little valve in there. And that's, that's all there is to it. People were telling me in the comments of a previous video I did on the Delta that not all bottles work with this. I don't think that's true at all. Every bottle that I have works with this. Take a liquid barn bottle, press, yeah, opens up just fine. Even these types of really, really old, like stubby nose tip bottles, yeah, you can put it in here and when you press it, it's gonna open that valve, you can squeeze it and fill it up and when you let go, it's gonna close that valve. And again, all this is happening inside your mod. There's no need to take that tank out of there because that valve is just exposed on the bottom. Now, if we're gonna take a look at the way that you fill the top side, there is a uh, sort of knurly bit up here and it's kind of spring-loaded and weird and I'll show you, but you just unscrew this clown or counterclockwise and it's gonna kind of pop up. It's like this little spring-loaded deal right here. And then you can just pull it out and you're gonna see on this side, there's some thick sort of deep plugs right there. And those thick, deep plugs are gonna go into these big kidney-shaped juice fill holes. And this is gonna be very much like filling up any sub-ohm tank or any RTA. You just kind of put your bottle in here, bless, squeeze it. You're gonna be squeezing like crazy because of this big 10 mil capacity. But when you're done, you find your little rubber stoppers there. You kind of reline them up with those. You kind of press this down because it's spring-loaded and you clockwise screw it down. Really simple, really straightforward. Honestly, if the Delta didn't exist, this would be the, the, the best way to fill up a, a squonk bottle. And even when the Delta does exist, this is still a really stellar, easy way to fill up a squonk bottle. So yeah, I think that's all we're gonna do down here. I'd like to continue this conversation up top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back out to normal view and we're gonna vape these things. So yeah, here we go. This is the Delta Revenant TVL versus the top side, the Vapor Chronicles and Davpo, right? There's a lot of names attached to both of these, but which one? This is difficult. This is difficult for me because I just reviewed the TVL Revenant Delta. I'm just gonna call it the Delta. I always call it the TVL because there's two TVL logos on it. So I wanna call it the TVL. It's not called the TVL, it's called the Delta. So I just reviewed the Delta in a real recent vlog in the vape stuff stuff. And I basically just gushed over it for like 15 solid minutes. And I still stand by everything that was said in that video because the Delta is a fabulous, fabulous squonker. I generally like everything about it. I even like this hold it down to pump the juice up there and it'll slowly pump the juice up there and then when you let go, it'll kind of recycle the juice back down in there and then you can vape it. I love that squonking system and I love, I mean, love, 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 the love the most the filling system even after having used the top side i do still feel 100 percent hands down unequivocally i don't know what other word can i throw in there genuinely believe that this is the superior filling method i mean taking a bottle any bottle every bottle works and just sticking it on there and squeezing it and then taking it off and then that's it and it's full that is the superior filling system. With that said, I feel like the top side edges out the Delta in almost every other category that I'm looking for. Now, don't get me wrong. Again, the Delta is fabulous. And if you wanna buy a Delta, you should buy a Delta because you will enjoy the Delta. It's just a good mod. But with that said, and I can't believe I'm about to go down this road, but since I got this top side, my Delta has been getting used less and less and less. I didn't think it would happen. I thought, oh no, the Delta is the Delta. That's my favorite squonker. But we haven't talked about the top side yet. And the top side 
it is fantastic. I really, really enjoy the top side. I like the style of it. I like that Squid Industries double barrel sort of dual chamber look and feel to it. I love the 10 mil juice capacity on this. 10 mils for the win. I generally enjoy the display on this a little bit more than the Delta, and I like the anodized, the like soft anodized aluminum more than I like the shiny finish of the Delta. It's more enjoyable IMO to hold in my hand. And I've said this before in so many videos, and I'm pretty sure I've said it in this video a few times, but I'm a person that really likes to hit the fire button with my finger. To me, this motion right here is the most enjoyable button pressing motion. To squonk it from the finger position, I just give it a little spin in my hand, a little enjoyable sort of roll like that. And it happens so quickly and so smoothly that sometimes, and it happened to me last night when I was sitting on the couch watching television, vaping at the top side is I would just sit there on the couch and kind of just roll it around in my hand like this because it's so smooth and it's so simple and it's just like a little fidgety thing that I was doing. And this motion is the way that I vape this. And I know that sounds silly, but I find it so enjoyable to hold it like this, hit the fire button with my finger like I like, and then when I wanna squonk it, I just give it this smooth little boom, spin around, and now the bottle's right here. And this, with the profile on top, I can just give like a, just a crank down, just crush that bottle down, flood that chamber with juice, and then I can do another one of these little, just flip it around in the hand, get back to vaping. And on top of how enjoyable this top side is to use, that 10 mil capacity is just for the win. You can't beat that, 10 mils for the win, and it does have the second most simple filling feature of all time. The gimmick of this, or I mean, I don't know, I don't wanna call it a gimmick, the innovation of this, I guess, is that you can fill it from the top. And that's huge for squonking, man. Squonk bottles in the past, and I mean, this is one of the reasons why I never really like dove full head first into squonking was I hated refilling bottles. I hated taking bottles out and unscrewing them and refilling them and putting them back together or worse yet when you have to unscrew it and then you have to like line up the little tube to go on the little spoke and you go boom and you stick it in there and you can stick it back in there. Then eventually companies started releasing like squonk filling systems like that Geek Vape flask that I like so much and that made the process that much easier. But now that we've arrived at the Delta and the top side, the two easiest to fill squonkers, I'm in. I love squonking on so many more levels now that I have these two devices. Just the fact that they are simple to refill has enhanced my squonking experience just just tenfold. So we've already talked about the Delta price in the past. It's about $135 for this full kit. And keep in mind, you're, you're getting the Delta Squonker 21700 compatible, easy fill squonker, and you're getting a real nice RDA. Very, very versatile RDA. Dual coils, single coils, mesh, Yep, this, this can do it all and it does it real well. The top side is a little bit cheaper, clocking in at about 70 to $75 and it doesn't come with any sort of topper. That's just for the mod. So regardless of what you're going after, you're kind of gonna need to use your vape budget hands. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to buy, I already said that I would buy a Delta. I like the Delta that much that I would buy it. Now, if we're going to turn our attention to the top side with the same question, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because on the last Culture of Clouds podcast that was out on Sunday, we did desert island setups, and this top side was one of my desert island setups. Single 21700, easy top fill, 
10 mil capacity squonker regulated up to 90 watts. I mean, that's just stellar. I, I think that's just fantastic. I didn't know that I was gonna like the top side as much as I did. And you know, I kind of go into every product and every review with a little bit of skepticism. I'm always skeptical, but a little bit optimistic. This top side just blew me the shit away. And I can easily, I mean, categorically say that these two squonks, both the Delta and the top side, have been the single most enjoyable squonks that I have used so far in, in my vaping experience in the last 10 years. They're both just so great, but this is a versus video, right? I said versus in the title, so really which one is better? <sighs> I don't know. I can't say. If we're going just mod to mod, I think I like the top side a little bit better, but if we're going like mod to kit, this does come with a stellar RDA on it. I mean, ultimately, yeah, the decision is gonna be yours to make, but both of these are coming pretty highly recommended, and like I said, mod to mod, I genuinely think I like the top side a little bit more than the Delta, but that's what I got. For today, everybody, no links are allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but you can find these all across the internet, check vaporDNA.com. But anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me, and as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping. Double toot!